Hello, I'm Hannah on a beautiful Wisconsin day where it has finally rained. See all the little raindrops? Do do do. And as you may know, when it rains, you can't exactly go outside and start a fire. No, you cannot. So, if you really want a s'more, and it, it's on a day where it has rained, like today, then I'm going to show you how to make one in the microwave. First ingredient. Graham crackers. It may or may not be the Honey Made brand, but that is what I have. Second ingredient. Chocolate. And finally, the marshmallow. Now, if you've ever put a marshmallow in the microwave, then you know it can be hard to eat and quite sticky. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to get around that. First, take one s'more. I'm kind of filming this myself here. Okay, take one s'more and break... Or, did I say s'more? Take one graham cracker and break it in half. Then, you're going to take your chocolate and get one square of it. Oh. Oh, who did this? Okay, well you can have an extra square if you want. Just lay it on top of one. Next, you're going to take one of your marshmallows and set it on the other graham cracker. Now, watch carefully because this is where it gets tricky. I'm going to take my marshmallow and open up the microwave. There we go. Close the microwave and, um... For me, usually about 12 seconds is good. You don't want it to get too big. There it goes, yay! Okay, that is good. That was only 11 seconds. And then, just flip it over onto the thing. Onto your pre-shared. Mmm, let's see. Oh, it's hot. But delicious. Next, enjoy your s'more. Mm. This is probably not the best thing to eat considering I had a filling yesterday, but I don't care. The next step is, of course, cleaning up. more in the microwave. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Tonight.